So this is just a really quick video to show you how to activate uh, the loop, uh, the loop function within your um, your Soundtrap project. So if you go over and, and search over, um, probably likely over the top of the very first few bars here, you'll notice that this grey section above the the project window will move. This is the loop, uh, the loop sort of section or loop finder in your um, in your project. What you want to do for this project is we want to concentrate on the A blues. You can see my A blues over here. It starts at bar 14. So I've got my G blues over here, which you've recorded, which has the chords, the bass line, and a drum track. And then over here, we're going to concentrate on your A blues. So it's the same thing, but in the key of A. What we're going to do is we're just going to move over. We're going to drag this little gray area by clicking and holding it and dragging it to the beginning of the bar where your A blues starts. And then we want to grab the uh, the end of the, the the loop cycle and click it and drag it to the end of the loop and then we want to activate that loop cycle by turning that on so that's the loop function there once that's purple the loop area goes purple and you'll see that if I play it it'll just loop all the way around so what we the reason why we want to do that is so that you can create an improvisation or an improvised melody down the bottom here so you'll notice that I've created a new track, which again I've done simply by uh, adding uh, play the synth track down the bottom here. So I'll have a look at the track and then I'm going to be playing the A Blues uh, improvisation over that, which is that. And so what you want to do is you just basically just want to be able to muck around. So let's just see if we can play it. And then all of a sudden, I'm just going to just improvise a melody over the top, and then when I'm ready, I'll record it. So here we go. So on and so forth. If you think that you're ready to go, you can just take that all the way to the beginning, hit the record button, and then just practice an improvisation. So on and so forth. Played a wrong note in there for the Eagle Live viewers out there. I accidentally played a B in the scale. If you make a mistake, you can always just hit the click on the track and delete it and start again. But you don't have to record it. You can just play the track and practice improvising the scale uh, as many times as you like.